It's pretty weird how fast time has gone by, because it feels like only yesterday we were complaining about how bad the Fracture event was, but y'all, that was seven seasons ago. And I know that this phrase gets thrown around a lot in the community, you know, Fortnite is a dying game, and I want to preface this video by saying that this is completely untrue, but this is still a phrase that I think perfectly describes the state of the game right now. But the logical question to ask is, Rim, how can you say something that you just said isn't true? You're contradicting yourself. And I'm here to tell you that even though the player counts are still high, even though there are new additions and a good community backing and all this new stuff, Fortnite is dying. Not on the outside, but on the inside. Fortnite is truly losing its identity. And now, now, before you click off, I think you'll find that I have a unique take on this topic, and specifically how this topic relates to the new season of Fortnite. As we all know, season 3 is just around the corner, only 6 days away at the time of posting this video. This is honestly just insane to think about because this season has felt like it flew by, but at the same time, it's really boring. And while I will talk about the season in length on Wednesday, I'd like to say something here. Fortnite used to care about mid-season updates. Now it's just very, very formulaic. The typical season follows like this. Great launch, everybody is hyped to play, and after a couple weeks, we get an update that unvaults a classic weapon and brings the season's new epic rarity item. Then we'll either get an LTM, a newer unvaulted weapon, and or the super styles for the battle pass. Then we receive a mini battle pass for a collaboration, and then Epic Games doesn't do anything for the month until the end of the season. Now, you might be thinking, but we get seasonal live events. <laughs> Wrong, we get seasonal mini live events, which take place over multiple days and don't really do much besides give a cool animation or something. It's a far cry from what we have gotten in the past, and if this is Epic's answer to the outcry about a single event per chapter, I think that they have brutally missed the mark. You see, these little tiny events don't bring the charm the game once had. It's still the same old battle royale, the same old weapons, metas, and the same tone and feel to the game. These events hardly have any effect on anything. Um, future Rim here. It's late, and I'm halfway through editing this video when I saw the new mini event. It was actually really good, and it invalidates most of my points, but I still agree that we should get actual live events with custom lobbies, and definitely more than one live event per chapter. I also think that these mini events aren't done well at all because they aren't marketed and they take place during school hours on weekdays, but what do I know? Anyways, back to the video, sorry for the interruption. But that was a lot of yapping about season 2 when the title of the video is clear, I'm talking about season 3. And I'll tell you the number one reason why I feel so compelled to give y'all this video instead of overrated seasons, which believe me is still on its way, just a bit delayed. I have some more announcements in a video that I'll link in the description, and this is very important so it would be fantastic if you could tune in for just a couple minutes. Sorry, the number one reason that I wanted to make this rant is because of the announcement that during Season 3, Fall Guys will be integrated directly into Battle Royale. I cannot aptly express my hatred for this addition, and I think that it fundamentally goes against what Fortnite is. Moreover, I think that if this is successful, we'll get the announcement before 2025 that Fall Guys will be completely merged with Fortnite and it will be a find it in Fortnite experience. Whoa, Rim, that is a huge prediction! Back it up a bit. Okay, I will, and I'll also explain what this means. Fall Guys is going to be getting a huge port over to Fortnite, much like Rocket League, but this will be much more in depth. There will not only be a new creative mode for Fall Guys inside of Fortnite, but the ability to join new game modes and play mini games. That is bad enough in and of itself, but there is one more thing. Fall Guys mini games will be coming to Battle Royale. Battle Royale! I'm going to let that opinion simmer for a second while I talk about the first two points. First, why does Fall Guys need to be in Fortnite? There is no other reason than the fact that the companies fall under the same umbrella. But Rim, you might say, Rocket League is inside of Fortnite, and to that I say, Rocket Racing is less weird than Rocket League. Cars in a race makes more sense than cars playing soccer. The thing about those cars is that they have variety. There's a whole lot you can do with cars. You know what you can't do a whole lot with? Beans, little bean-shaped guys. Porting them over to Fortnite already makes no sense, but then you think, why isn't there a creative mode in Fall Guys already? What Epic is doing is locking an essential part of their first game behind Fortnite. Obviously, they're trying to get more players, which in turn brings more money, but there are ways to get new players without being downright malicious and ruining their game experience. This is a bad habit that we've seen Epic fall into ever since Donald Mustard left. 
Maybe he was the linchpin holding the company together, and when he left, everything just turned sour. That's not even the biggest problem with this new Fall Guys collaboration. As I mentioned before, there are going to be new Fall Guys minigames that you can play inside Battle Royale to earn loot. Epic claims that this mechanic will work very similar to the Mothership mechanic, but there's one thing that makes me hate this all the more. Unoriginality. Epic could have very easily made the same Mothership-like mechanic, but related to their new season, which is Apocalypse-themed, instead of making the mechanic based around Fall Guys, which arguably could not be further from the theme of next season. This is reflective of a much larger problem with Fortnite's lost identity. Fortnite seemingly cannot do anything original to capture our attention. Every single thing that is either a new mechanic, a new event, or a weapon is most likely collab related. It's predictable and very easy to see coming. Instead of bringing original ideas to the forefront, Fortnite constantly leans back on other media to carry itself. And while to most of you this doesn't sound like a problem, let's go on a blast from the past. It was Chapter 4 Season 1, and Epic Games had just hit us with the best update in years, the most wanted event. This event brought unique bosses and several new exotic weapons that were so unique and creative with their abilities. But Fortnite doesn't do anything like this anymore. Instead, we have seasonal collaboration passes, which are fine, I guess, but by no means should they be the main focus of every season. There is another problem with this, and the last thing I will discuss before leaving is the new LEGO Mini Pass. This was great! The event doubled the game's content and gave us great cosmetics like builds and skins, all for a pretty reasonable price. Why is this a problem? Because I played this update, and so did a lot of people. It kind of revived LEGO Fortnite and brought player counts up to a peak of 200,000. Epic Games has definitely noticed this, and have definitely taken it into consideration. You see, if I were Epic, I would see the success of this update and really start pushing it, putting more and more effort into Find It in Fortnite, especially because May the 4th showed that a failure could be turned into a success overnight. This all culminates in Season 3, where I predict Epic Games will make some very bold moves regarding not only Battle Royale, but the entire game as we know it and I think that it will, once and for all, destroy the Fortnite that we once loved and enjoyed. If I could have one word to describe how I feel about this new season, it would be apprehensive. Apprehensive for the future. Apprehensive and worried about where our childhood memories are going. Now, could I be wrong? Absolutely! Heck, I'm really hoping that I'm wrong! Epic could turn everything around next season, and really redeem themselves and make Battle Royale the game it once was, but I just don't see that happening. I hope it does, but it just doesn't seem possible to me. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really appreciate all of you guys for sticking around this far in, and I'd also love to give a special shout out to all of my members who are up on screen right now. If you want to join and support me, it's only 99 cents a month. This video is very reactionary, and I have a lot of things that I want to say but are off topic to the video, so I'm going to link down a video in the pinned comment. These are huge announcements for the future of this channel, and I'd love it if you could just take two minutes of your time and watch it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a fantastic week.